Hey everybody, this is Clan of Gamer here, and I am back with part 14 in my Let's Replay of Tekken 1. And the last time I was here, I managed to play as Lee Chao Lane in part 13 from before, and I managed to get through his arcade run without too many problems, unlike uh, with Kuma. So, without further ado, with part 14, we are going to be playing as the rival of Law, which is going the wrong direction, Wong Jun Rei. So, that's who we're playing as next. Now, Wong has a pretty interesting backstory, I have to say, because with Wong, he is pretty good friends with uh, one of the, or very, or best friends, should I say, with uh, one of the uh, Mishima uh, family members, Jimpachi Mishima, who is uh, Kazuya's uh, grandfather and Heihachi's uh, father. The two of them were best friends, and when Jimpachi had died, I think uh, Wong knew of Heihachi's ill intentions in this game, and he was on the Heihachi side at least temporarily to keep an eye on him. And that's the reason why he's here. Now, as far as it goes for his reason for fighting Law, I still it still remains a mystery to me. I honestly don't know. I think, to be honest with you, when I look at Wong, he doesn't seem like somebody who holds it. Oh my goodness, Kazuya. He doesn't seem like somebody who holds a grudge very easily, I have to say. Oh, god damn it. Thought I would have maybe snuck in the last tail on Kazuya there, but clearly that didn't work. I clearly was not going on, I was going too much on the offensive, and that caused me to lose. Oh dear. Yeah, if I do that move quite a lot, that'll uh, confuse the AI there quite a lot. There we go, nice. I like his victory laugh there as well. And uh, Wong's always been a fair age throughout the series. I believe in this game, he is in his late 80s, early 90s, I believe. So he does fight very well for his age. I have to say, anyway. And I believe from Tekken 5 or Tekken 6 onwards, he's over 100 years old. So he is getting on very well with his fighting in the, in the, in the series. I mean, as far as goes for Wong being my personal favourite character, like, being one of my favourites, I think he is, I think he's definitely up there, but he's not my absolute favourite because there are other characters I like better than Wong, if you ask me, but the reason why I like him quite a lot is because he's got some of uh, Michelle's moves, like for example this one, and including another one if I tap the square button enough times, this one here. The uh, three hit combo there when you uh, tap the square button many times. And I like the grabs that he does as well there. Oh god, really? I flew right over Nina. Yeah, the hitboxes are not the best in this game, as you could tell from the let's replay. Oh god, okay, right. Stay down. Right, okay, do not go on the uh, offensive, at least not yet. They don't. Aha! Got Nina first before she could. Oh my god, okay, right, no, stay down. Oh god, okay, right. Come on, do what you're gonna do, Nina. You better not cause me trouble like you did with Kuma. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, she didn't cause me that much trouble, so I'm not that concerned. Right, Yoshimitsu. Alright, let's see how much of a bother he's going to be. Hopefully not too much. Because unlike the later games, uh, Yoshimitsu can be a little bit predictable here in this game. Except for that double kick there, that's where he's uh, quite uh, predictable, uh, unpredictable there. For, and that one, like, for example, there. He's quite predictable in that one. Alright, and there we go, that's exactly what I wanted to do with Nina last time, but for some reason I ended up jumping over her. And speaking of Nina, we're going to be playing as Anna in the next part. And I do have an interesting backstory about Anna, but I'm going to save that for the next part, because it wouldn't be appropriate to talk about it here when I'm playing as Wong. But no, uh, Wong and Jinpachi were best friends back then. 
And I believe uh, Wong did not trust Heihachi at all. Because he firmly believed that uh, Heihachi was responsible for Jinpachi's uh, death. And the truth is, I mean, Heihachi was responsible for Jinpachi's death. And that's the reason why Wong doesn't trust um, Heihachi at all. Oh god, okay. I took two, uh, two of those um, body moves from Jack there. Oh, jeez. No. Okay, get back. Come on, Jack. Make your move. Oh my god. Well, he did. He made his move, and I, and I, I did. Oh, that honestly didn't look like he didn't hit me there. Oh, I thought you could. I thought he was going to do that a third time there. That move. Oh, really? Oh no! God, that's one sure way again not to have been sat on. You've been squashed by a robot, that's one sure way of getting knocked out there. <laughs> then again, knowing how tough Wong is, he got right back up immediately. Knowing how durable he is. Alright. Nope, didn't get him there, right. Didn't get him there either. There we go, got him with that one though. I got him with another grab. And a perfect. Alright, now it's time to fight off against Paul and Acropolis. Hmm, how appropriate, Paul, that I'm fighting you here. Are you training here so you can fight against Kuma again? Oh god, yeah, he definitely is taking his training very seriously. He was definitely taking his training very seriously there. Because he's probably thinking, God damn it, I shouldn't have uh, lost... Uh, well, no, well, he didn't lose to Kuma, technically. Um, he was probably thinking, God damn it, I shouldn't have taken a single hit from Kuma. I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen again, and I'm going to make sure that Wong suffers because of it. <laughs> That's probably what he's thinking right now. Oh, okay. One of us is going to land our moves on each other. There we go. Oh god, okay, that was a fancy move from Paul there. I didn't see that coming. I'll give him that. Alright, I'll get him down. There we go. Oh! I... Oh god damn it, okay, right. Should have seen that coming first. Alright. Aha! I was counting on Paul running right into that, and so he did. Hmm. This is kind of appropriate that Michelle was stage 7, considering I have the, you know, the same moveset as her. Hmm. I wonder if uh, Wong and Michelle... I don't think they ever met, but I'm wondering if, like, because their fighting styles are so similar, I don't know if maybe they cross paths at some point. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. That's an interesting, uh, interesting topic, actually. I think I got really lucky in that first round there. Alright, yes, okay. Two of us are being quite formidable against- Oh no! Quite formidable against each other, but then of course Michelle has to- Okay, right, no. Go more on the defence. Defence mode, activate. Come on, try and attack me again. Aha, alright. I seem to have made her very mad by kicking her in the face like that. Oh, crap. 
See, that's one thing I'm hoping that they don't do is grab. Oh, no, no. You're not grabbing me. No! Shit! Oh, damn you, Michelle. You got the better of me in that exchange, but not this time. Oh my god, this better not be a repeat of what happened in stage 7 with Kuma. Because if it is, I'm not going to be happy. It shouldn't be, though, because I'm much better with Wong than I am with Kuma. Right, there we go. Good start there. And yeah, yep, yeah, I knew the Michelle was going to get me there. Stop it! Okay. Oh, God, okay, we were both about to leap, leap at each other there. Oh, <laughs> mister. Right, now go on defence. There we go. Keep. Oh my god. Keep going on the defence. Because I do not trust her here. Haha! -ha! Yes! I barely got away with that. Thank goodness. Right, now it's time to face off against my rival, Law. Again, I still don't know why Law is Wong's rival. I don't understand it, honestly. I'm guessing they're just having a friendly rivalry, I guess. That's my only explanation. And there's nothing wrong with having a good old-fashioned, healthy, a uh, friendly rivalry. Oh god, right, he got me first. Oh, come on then. Oh, and luckily it's uh, the Wong's uh, future theme that's put. Ah. Luckily, it's uh, Wong's uh, future theme that's playing, because, uh, funny enough, this is uh, Wong's theme in uh, Tekken 2. The uh, Shek Wan theme. Oh, God. Then again, it could serve Law very well here, since he seems to be doing so well against me right now. Oh, my God. Oh, sh... God damn it. You're going to pay for that one, Law. Oh my god! Yeah, he got me with that move. I was waiting for him to get me with that. Oh, god damn it! Get him there. Ah, gum, yes, yeah, some simple kicks there uh, were good enough to put him down there, right. Oh, shh, not that kick. I hate that. Oh, good god. Law's really doing quite well here in this round. Oh god, too well if you ask me. Oh, shoot. Get him there, there we go. Try my luck twice here. No, it didn't work. Oh, yes! Okay, I didn't think that kick was going to knock him out there. That was quite awesome. Alright, so now it's time to right the wrongs by fighting Heihachi here. Because Wong's always been very distrustful of Heihachi, and now it's time to avenge Jinpachi, I guess. And it looks like Heihachi's having none of that. He's like, you're not going to avenge my father, how dare you, you traitor. Yeah, that's how mad he actually is. Because uh, Wong's on the uh, Jim Patchy side. Oh, Jesus. No. Bad, bad he actually, bad. Get back. Alright. Oh, managed to get him down, but not enough. I can do this, or maybe not. 
Maybe not that either. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm born. Yeah, yeah. I knew it. I knew that I was, uh, I knew I was screwed there. I mean, I thought I said I was good or wrong, but, I mean, I think I am, but I'm just, uh, using too many offensive moves. Like, too many moves on the offense, rather than defense. Alright, good golden there. Well, I suppose tackling them does... Nice, haha, <laughs> that's what you get for perfecting me last time. Oh my god, no. No? God damn it. If only I had countered in time with one of my own grabs. Alright, got him there. Now let's see if I can get him with this. Yes! Good stuff. I put you down for good, Heiachi, and I've righted the wrongs of your wrongdoings. And Jim Patchy's finally arrest. Justice is served. That's probably what Wong is thinking right now. And I think he did very well sticking up for his uh, best friend Jim Patchy like that by standing up to his son, Heihachi. Anyway, that's it for Wong's uh, story, or well, Wong's arcade mode anyway. So I want to thank you all very much for watching this video. Feel free to like if you enjoyed, comment down below as well for your thoughts. And feel free to hit the subscribe button as well for more content coming up in the future. And uh, next time I come back I shall be playing as Anna Williams. Till then folks, this is Kleiner Gamer signing off and I will see you again next time for more videos coming up. Till then, stay safe and take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.